Right, hello YouTube. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been working and dealing with my own issues. But today I decided I'm going to finally review something and not that horizon of Pender Hill with up in distance. I'm in Yorkshire Dales today, as you can kind of see. It's Yorkshire Dales. It's very, very nice. It's very, very cloudy like, but still, very nice. But today I decided I'm going to review. The new bike, which is that. Obviously I changed up from my Versus. I needed something that can go on motorway. So I decided I'm gonna get <coughs> a Tracer 900. I've had a Yamaha 900 before. I had a TDM 900. Yamaha always make good bikes. If you wanna go for a bigger CC, I'd say go for Yamaha, because they're very well balanced, as you can see by the tire strip, the chicken strip. Edge of tyre, and other than dealing with cars that are just driving around today because they're driving around a bit slow, um, it's done all right. Right, I've I've had to overtake quite a lot of cars today, and this thing just shifts. You can be in second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. It doesn't matter what gear it's in. If you're doing twenty mile an hour and you pull on throttle, you're gone. You're going to fly past them. It makes 112, 113 horsepower and I think it's 62 foot of torque or newton meters of torque, one of them two. 62 no, torque figures. 0 to 60 is about 2 3 seconds. It's not too bad. And it's a lot of fun to ride. It is a triple. As you can see down there, it's triple. And it is a fairly good bike. I do like it. Not as much as my Versus, but that's because my Versus were fully customised to my liking, and it was just nice and noisy and off-road but capable, even though I didn't really take it off-road. I took it off-road like once or twice. Um, yeah, it was just a nice bike, that Versus, but I had to get something that can go motorway because I wanted to go further afield and do stuff better. So I went for this. I knew Yamaha make good 900s. I knew Yamaha make good bikes. I knew a lot about Yamaha because I used to have a Yamaha TDM 900 and that thing was alright. Although it had engine issues, but it was alright. And I do like this bike. I do have to say though, I'm having to record this on my mobile because my helmet camera is stuck to my helmet as I got a new helmet, which I'll show you in another video in a minute but um <clears throat> yeah it's got a nice sound to it as you're riding around town it's nice and quiet like you want it to be because you don't want to wet people up you don't want to get screened up by random pedestrians and it rolls again because that was scary so it's nice and quiet around town as soon as you put that power on you get a throaty room and it's just it's nice and then like when you let the power off again, it goes back to being quiet. You hate it. I will say that the thing that's disturbed me about this bike, though, is throttle. Because the Versus, you used to go like that, and that would be your throttle. Like That would be like power on. This is what I have to pull it back a bit further, like that, engage. And I know it's not much of a distance, but when it's your hand... Wait, the car's a fucker. When it's your hand, it feels a bit iffy. And the other thing I'm not a fond of is this here that looks like a fuel tank. Right? I don't think it's actually my fuel tank. It might be my fuel tank, but I don't know if it actually is because um, inside the fuel tank itself, there's a gap about that big. And then there's like a little plastic box that the fuel goes into. So I don't know if that's an actual fuel tank. It might be. Be, it might not be, I can't tell. It doesn't look like it because there's a box there. But it might be the fuel tank. Maybe it's just my head playing games with me. Maybe that's the air box underneath. Either way, it's um yeah, it's quite an interesting bike. Uh the dash, I'm not gonna turn it on because it's got temperature. Oh, I can't turn it on. But the dash is a uh, Fairly straightforward and basic, and I like it. I like the bit more basic dashes. 
look how basic that is. Right, that is the most basic dash ever on the modern day bike. And I like it. Everyone else can say, oh, TFT screens are the best, TFT screens are the best. I don't like TFT screens. It's too bright, too colourful. And the colours will literally distract me because I have autism and I'll be watching that all the time. But having a stash like that, that's brilliant for me. It's not colourful, it's not pretty, it does what it needs to do. I mean, gear, yeah, I mean, gear. Obviously, tyres that came with it, with Dunlops, and they were alright, the Dunlops. They did last like 2,000 miles, but after 2,000 miles, they would like almost bold. So I upgraded to the uh, Battle Axe T31s. As I like battle axe, I think they're all right tyres. People keep saying to me it's a scary tyre to ride on, but I've been riding on them for years, never had an issue. I even ride in snow and ice and winter time and rain and all sorts, I've never had an issue with them. Maybe it's just I don't ride fast enough. But riding two here today, I'm doing about 60, 70 mile an hour around corners. So I think I'll have plenty fast enough. I know it's a murky day, not great, but I think they're all fast enough around these corners and stuff, so it's not too bad. At the moment I'm on like the, the Yorkshire Moor, I think, behind Settle. And um, it's a nice place, but you don't want to go fast on it, so I didn't really go that fast on here. Because I didn't want to go too fast along here. I've not been going that fast anyway, I've only been doing speed limit. That's all I do. I panic if I go too fast. But, um, yeah, I, I do like it. The only issues I've got with it though is I bought this from a shop. I'm not saying what shop for their own sake, but I can't move my foot. But, um, if I lift the rear wheel, the rear wheel lifts without engaging the suspension because the lower linkage bearings, that little arm, it links to a lower one. The bearings in it have all fucking gone. And we've taken the issue up with the shop. The shop went, sorry, it might be under warranty, but we're not fixing it because it's meant to have that much play. But there's loads of play. Like, you can literally lift that wheel up, probably like a good three inches before the suspension engages. So, we're going to look into that and get that sorted. Trying to. And, like, I mean, it's not a right bike. It's just got some minor issues which can get sorted because they don't cost much to sort out, really, to be honest with you. Like, lower linkage bearings, full set, when you do that quid, if that. I know 100 quid's quite a lot, but at least it's not engine rebuild level, where it's like £1,800 for an engine rebuild. Could have always be worse, couldn't it? And then like, the, what I'm going to get done is get all the lower linkage bearings replaced, and then after we've done that for the shop, we're going to pay it to get the rest of the linkages replaced. And we're going to pay it to get the swing arm bearings replaceable. Because then it means that I'll have a full working back suspension without having to worry about anything going wrong. Because if one set of bearings are gone, you might as well just change all of them. Because then it means they all wear and tear at the same time and you don't have issues further down the line. The ABS on this bike is pretty good. I do like the ABS on this bike. I won't lie. At first I was a bit skeptical because I had a just checking the brake pads to make sure that I've got the brake pads. See on the right side. See, I'm not very smart. But um yeah I do like the ABS on this bike. It is a good system. It works, it does the job, it does it brilliantly. It's not just some tacky system that's going to destroy you further down the line, but 
it is good ABS. Um, I've not really engaged it yet <laughs> because I'm too used to riding my Versus, so I tend to go slow and careful my Versus, which is what I used to do. Oh, I don't even see the pads through that bit. You meant to be able to see pads through here, but I can't see it. I'm not smart enough. I'll get um, Gary to sort it out. He'll be able to tell me if it's getting low or not. But yeah, I do like the bike. It's just um, got some minor issues. And I think further down the line, after all them issues have been absolved and sorted out, I think it'll be a brilliant bike. It's weird that um, it's 900cc though, because it gets uh, 60 miles to the gallon average, which is kind of creepy, and it runs on E10. And we were getting 60 miles to the gallon on average, that means you're getting about 50, 250 miles to the tank. It's about the same as what my Versa's got. But the tank on this is smaller. I need to get a cloth and wipe the visor. You know the headlights? I do wash it. I washed it the other day, but I've been out on it since then. So it's good to be again. Uh, yeah. I think all in all, decent bike. For like what modern day bikes are anyway. I'm not a big fan of modern day bikes. I prefer the old bikes. I prefer mechanical, because the ECU on modern bikes, I found, they're sort of not great. They're not, they're not all there. You put power on it, it takes like five seconds for it to kick in. So, this bike doing it instantly. Fucking nice. I will say that um, people on the YouTube need to calm down about this bike as well. Because people keep telling me that this thing, if you have it in A mode, it will try and kill you. I'm not taking it out of A mode yet. Because uh, having it in A mode, the reason why I'm not taking it out of A mode is because it just gets me a super mile to the gallon. It gets me the 60 mile to the gallon I want. It's not sporty in A mode, it's nice. It's a full control bike. Standard mode, which is STD, sounds like a sexual transmitted disease type thing, isn't it? but standard mode's STD, and um, that gets you like a decent mark to go on. I think it's actually like 55 mark to go on, but the throttle response on it's a bit meh. And then B mode, you just don't use our mode. B mode's like you can get down the throttle as hard as you can, and you're on your spot, dude. So it's like your snow mode. Ooh, some bikes, some bikes. But yeah, all in all, I do like this bike. I'm going to get these bikes off on YouTube. Get these guys on camera. On the Suzuki. Suzuki. I can do a Suzuki. Fuck yeah. But anyways. I'm going to jump on it in a sec, continue on, go for a long ride, that direction, and then back home. Or I might turn around and go that direction, then go for a sleigh burn and back home, because sleigh burn is nice. Either ways, I'll leave you here with this, I guess. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to make a video on my outfit later on, like what I wear, because I want to ride the motorbike. I've seen a bit.